Oh, fudge. I always forget a knife. I gotta manually do this thing. I think we'll be able to do it though. Are you done? No. Mmm, that's a good start, boys. First of all, I apologize for that leaf blower noise over there. I'm gonna unbox this Marv training care package and then I'm gonna put together a video showcasing how I properly warm up using Marv training bands, which, spoiler alert, are gonna be in this package. So, let's go ahead and get right into it, huh? Clip this bad boy on there. I think Marv training has the, the dopest logo I've ever seen. Come on, get in there, so close, so much tape. We made it, guys. So we have a Marv Band braided gold and black. Marv Brand, whoa, that's hard to say. Marv Band braided blue and silver. Marv Band braided blaze orange and silver. Holy smokes, blaze orange is a color. Oh, these are nice. So I've never used these before. These are sweet. So this is what they're gonna look like. So they got these little handles here. Pretty decent amount of resistance. Yeah, that's a nice color. Just underappreciated. Royal blue and uh, gray or like silver. That's kind of swaggy. These are the gold and black. Oh yeah, blaze orange. That's just sick. These are freaking sweet. Tell me this guy's done. You, you blew so many leaves today. That's what we're looking at, boys. All right, we're gonna go through a pre-throwing band routine using Marv Training braided bands. Let's go. All right, we'll put these up here. And we'll use these. Uh, general rule of thumb, when you're doing like a hook in Johnny with a chain link fence, I always do it to where I'm clipping two different squares. So each one makes a square, that makes a square, that makes a square, see how they make a square, and then they combine that square, I clip it in right in there. Because now you have minimal movement. Right? You have the four corners locked in. So if you don't clip it there, you clip it here, you have all this movement, right? So let's lock it in, clip it here. So again, this is a pre-throwing band routine. So big emphasis for pre-throwing is you don't want to tire yourself. You don't want to wear yourself down. You don't want to, all right, truck, go ahead. Go ahead, on you, babe. It's really hard to capture quality audio when you're at a local city park. I've noticed that. Pre-throwing warm-up routine using Marv Training braided bands. You don't want to get too fatigued. You don't want to wear yourself out. So keep it low reps, low sets and just get a nice little lather going. So for me, I'm gonna start staggered stance, one foot in front of the other, and just get a nice stretch from side to side. Switch legs, go out. Oh, back stretch me. Cervical rotation, how are we doing? Okay, I'm a right-handed pitcher, so I'm gonna try to mimic the throw as much as possible within the throw. For me, being a right-handed pitcher, my left foot is gonna be in front of my right. So we'll go ahead and do this. You wanna even it out too. So as you go, kind of switch it up. For me, first one, left foot in front of the right. And now we're gonna go dual arm press Johnny's. I'm gonna go probably one set of eight to 10, even though there's not a whole lot of resistance on these bands. You wanna get good retraction here and protraction as you go out. Let's go right foot in front of left for about six more. All right, now go feet shoulder width apart, facing forward. Internal rotation with resistance. Don't break your Apple Watch. Left foot in front of right again. Oh. I feel like I'm at the gym just hitting my freaking chest day. So I've done probably anywhere from 15 to 25 reps and I'm already kind of sweating. Not kind of, I'm already sweating. Already got a lather. So let's turn it around. So we did internal rotation. We want to get a good resistance here. Again, this is pre-throwing, so we're not trying to burn ourselves out. Get a good amount of resistance. Elbows in line with the shoulders, not hiking up and turn on the traps. We want to actually pull down with the scaps, get it to where your traps are turned off, and then we want to externally rotate and hammer about six to eight reps. Good. For more, you can go one arm, other arm holding that, and this is actually gonna provide you with some stability so you're not having to stabilize through time and space, which a lot of young guys will probably struggle with. Don't break your Apple Watch. And then you can turn it around here, go the opposite, external rotation. Same 
Going for the right. Good. And then we do our Y's, T's, I's. So this is gonna be a reverse, so I'll go right foot, front of left, T. And then for my Y, I'm gonna take this off, drop it down low, how low? <laughs> and then I'll go left foot, front of right, and get some Y's in with some trunk extension. Get a little bit more explosive. And then lastly, I'll grab one, and you can just go through some forward throws. For your shoulder external rotation, you can also do holding the band like this, cross. You can hold your elbow here and go out to 90. So when you're doing it like this one and you're going external rotation, the resistance, even though it doesn't feel like a lot of resistance at first, it's a lot because you're very limited with strength and stability. External, external and internal rotation of your shoulder, especially when you're here and you're trying to hold this posture through space, it's a little difficult. So I would like to do a quarter turn so you can hold your positioning, whether it be this way, external rotation, this way, internal rotation, or this way, external, this way, internal. So again, when we're doing a pre-throwing band routine, the goal is just to get those muscles nice and loose, not trying to fatigue them, not trying to blow it out, not trying to get freaking, not trying to increase muscle mass during your warm-up, right? We can save that for another time. These bands are a great tool to use before you throw, after you throw, and even in the workout routine. There's times when you're a bullpen guy, one of the guys out there in the game is getting in a jam and you gotta get warm quick. You can grab these bands. For me, I would grab these bands and I would get boom, boom here, boom, boom here, boom. A couple of these, a couple of these, a couple of these, boom, a couple of these, and a couple of these. And you're good. You just did a whole warm up in about 41 seconds. I'm freaking out of breath. I'm gassed. Don't sleep on bands. You can do them, like I said, before you throw, after you throw, during your workouts. You can even do them on days that you're not even throwing. Shout out Marv Training, because these bands, braided bands, say that 10 times fast, are probably the dopest color schemes I've ever seen. A couple quick things that I look for in a band is I want a good amount of resistance, but not too much and not too little. You gotta be just right. And these ones, they fit that stand standard. So, very well done. And being that they're braided bands, they're gonna last for a long time. Shout out. Marv Training, check them out, Instagram. I'm Robbie Rowe, and I approve these Marv Training braided bands. Ha, <laughs> clip it.